It is a beautiful morning, I must say. Birds are singing, the sun's out. There goes the grub and I lost my leader. So I've retied my leader and I've gone with a little bit of a truss bait. One that I know I catch on and it's that 2.5 inch motor oil soft plastic. This is a very, very snaggy area. So I'm gonna have to work it a little bit differently to what I would usually do since I'm not really trying to snap off another lure. Now the only fish that I've caught in this system so far has been brim but it's salt and fresh water so i would not doubt that estuary perch and bass are definitely lurking around i would be using the frog right now but it's just a little bit that bank's a little bit too far away like too far apart and i want to be chucking up against the bank and pulling it up off it that's where the fish are going to be sitting in behind the structure so there's not much point me throwing this frog around in the deep till we get a little bit further upstream where it shortens in a bit and that's where that frog Will come in play but for the meantime we'll just work the area going upstream with this little soft plastic it's a bit awkward to cast that oh wow what a take on that and I'm going to fall down the bank. That is a big fish. Wow, this is a big fish. Had me under a log, but he's out. Oh, this is very awkward. Big brimbo. Yep. <laughs> Look how awkward this is. There's so many logs, I've got to try and get him around. That is a stonking big brimbo. Got a little mate behind him as well. That was an incredible take. Absolutely incredible. Pulled me down the bank. It's a nice little fish. Taking on that little slim swim. All right, let's get a nice close up. Look at that fish. That is a solid brim. Taking on that slim swim. Even pulled me down the bank. He grabbed it on the drop and I wasn't concentrating very much. There's the reward of no fish for two hours. Been flicking top water frogs and I decided to switch over to a little soft plastic. And there's the reward. Very, very nice brim taken in brackish water. He had another mate behind him, so I'm going to quickly get that hook out. We'll get back out there and see if we can get onto another one. And he's off. What an awesome first fish. Great take. Whew, that's got me keen for the rest of the day. Let's get back into it. The only thing I've got to be a little bit weary about when I'm um, fishing this type of area is snakes. I mean, I know it's winter, but they still get out and about every now and then. I just spooked a big brimbo onto that log. Yep. Yep. <laughs> On the drop. This is a lot more solid but once again there is a stack of logs yep he's got me on the log very um oh he's off very gnarly area another good brim stuck on that tree branch and we're off all right i'm gonna have to try and maneuver him around a bit this is where he'll get off We might just have to straight pull him up the bank. Just hope those hooks are in well. Yep, that's what we're gonna have to do. There's a big drop down there. Come up. Oh, yes. That is an absolute chunk of a brim, that one. They are loving these little slim swims today. First things first, let's get those hooks out. Come on, mate, open up. All right, hooks are out. These fish, are in very brackish water. Like, I mean, we've had a lot, a lot of fresh rain and they're way, way up the system where the fresh rain's just hitting the salt. I've seen a bunch of little mullet and heaps and heaps of white bait swimming around. And that's what this guy's up here after. Beautiful fish. We'll get this one on the measure mat and we'll get a water release, I reckon. It's gonna go about 32. 
These guys absolutely terrorise these creeks up here. Solid fish. I can't believe I didn't realise earlier. It's like a one and a half metre drop to the water, so I can't water release him. I'll chuck him back. He's in pretty good nick, so hopefully he swims off. Off like a bullet. The conditions are perfect for that plastic as well, because it's just, it's a nice sunny day, but the water's fairly dirty up the back here. And that plastic is very, very natural looking. I think now may even be a good time to bring out the old frog. That bank's a little bit closer to where I can actually land a cast near the other side. And it's heaps shallower. Just a little bit of a halftime update. It's around about, actually what is it? It's around about one o'clock, it's 12.47 and we've been out here since around about 10ish. I worked my way a couple hundred meters upstream where it got to pure fresh water and there's just no fish around. As Soon as that fresh really, really hits the salt, there was nothing. I've just started to make my way back downstream and I've decided to stop for a little bit of lunch. Got the old classic tuna. I took off the label, I don't know why, but yeah, <laughs> it's just tuna. And I've also got an apple in my bag. So I'm going to tuck into these things and then we're going to probably switch to the soft plastic again, work it on the way back and we might try the frog further to the end. I don't know, I'll probably just work them on and off, on and off, so we'll see what happens. Alrighty, and we're back on the old slim swims. <clears throat> Although that wind's come up a little bit and it's pretty cold, we fish on. I'm just going to work this area all the way back to the car and then probably call it a day. It's like a kilometre or two back downstream, so there's a lot more fishing to come. Ever since that sun went away, Everything kind of went pretty quiet. Yep. Um, About time, little brimbo. Is it a brim? Feels like a flathead. It is a little flatty. <laughs> Come here, little guy. Get up on the bank. Oh, you're an all right specimen. Pretty small. You got some nice colours on you. How's that for timing? Hook this fish just as there's cows coming across on the other side. There's that little fella right there. Nice little, I'd say around 37, 38 centimetre flathead. It's been a fair bit of time since the first couple of brim and it's nice to get onto another fish just before the day closes. I've decided to change off the frog on the Vantford and put the Slim Swim on the Vantford just because it's the main reel and I want to get it spinning a bit today and see if we can't get onto anything before we head off. Oh, another little flathead. <laughs> oh, 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 dropped. What a run on the thing, wow. Grabbed that just as I was bringing it up the bank and took off for a big run. I thought he was little, but when he turned his tail, he actually looked all right. Oh, the bird's coming in, far out. Ibises. Holy shit, that's a bunch of bin chickens. Are you kidding me? I just sight casted this brim at my feet and I wasn't recording. Are you kidding? That's the brim right there. He come in right in close. I chucked my lure in and he smacked it and it wasn't recording. I chucked my lure way out far next to the bank over there. I seen this brim come right in close at my feet. I wear my lure all the way in really fast and paused it and he smacked it right at my feet. I don't know why, but apparently I wasn't recording. But there's that specimen right there. I'm pretty bummed about not getting it on record. But that is a great fish with an insane take. Very upsetting I didn't get that, but hey, it's all right. We got him in. Good fish. Let's get it back. That is a solid brim sight casted right there at my feet. Ah, a bit bummed about the recording, but it's all right. We'll get him back. Oh, 
Come back, come on. Wow, that was an all right fish. Look at that. He's missed the hook somehow. Got that much of it in his mouth and missed the hook. Unlucky. We've just arrived. What I reckon is going to be the last spot of the day. Pretty far away from the car, to be honest. I went to the car and then decided to come even further down. Never been here before. So, pretty interested to see how it goes. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alrighty, I reckon we ended on that, eh? <laughs> oh, yep, I reckon we ended on that note. Good old snappage. I mean, I am fishing a fallen down tree branch, so I was kind of expecting that.